here in Sorrento, Florida. We're on a third job today. It's about 12.30, uh, just after lunch. Uh, everybody here is wrapped up for lunch, so we just pulled in. Gonna get on this Peterbilt dump truck, knock this spindle out, hopefully wrap it up for the day early. Being Friday, we try not to work too late if we can help it, but we'll do what needs to be done. Follow along, I'll show you the spindle here shortly. This is what we got inside the wheel bearing seized up. We'll get this joker cut off of here and replaced in the next two hours and you guys can be back on the road for Monday morning. We're working on a spindle and hub conversion today. It says a Spicer air management system on it. The customer wants to take it off, put it back to a regular hub and a regular drive spindle. <clears throat> These are the type of inflation system that it mounts to the uh, face of the axle and goes out to the uh, tires themselves. And then we're going to convert this this style hub over to a regular hub and we're gonna have to change the backspacing on the axle to make everything align correctly. Got it wrapped up. Here we are again. Called out to fix a job from a company based out of Tampa. The customer says that they've done this job twice. leaking all that's weld it's been ground down all the way back so we're going to try to fix it if it hasn't been mangled up too bad we'll bring it back a little bit and show you what we come up with well i'm not sure this is the welds on the bottom here not sure if this is fixable or not looks like it can be if I can get past all that and there's the spindle there I don't know what the, that's the bottom where it was welded I guess looks like a used spindle with some sort of collar welded on it All right, good morning. We're in Fort White, Florida with a 2006 F-250 spindle. Uh, and as you can see, the threads are messed up on the end and the outer bearing journal is all messed up as well. Okay, here in Fort White, Florida, as you can see on the here, we got our F-350 prepped and i'll bring you back when we're done okay here we go all finished up
Uh, we're up here in Brunswick, Georgia, just south of Savannah. Called me last night, said they had a burn-up hub. Need us to bring all the parts. They couldn't find them locally to reassemble it, so we're gonna jump on this and make it like new. Ooh, what a mess this thing is. cut a brake spider off another axle or split the two tried to put the two halves together now nothing aligns we're gonna cut it off and see how bad if they ruin the axle or not if it's savable some more of their welding well I was right you can see the piece of inside axle tube that I don't, they guess they cut an old axle off, they split it, and put a cap on here, and then that's, that's what we got. We got to keep cutting and grinding until we get it back to where we can fix it. Alright, finished product. Got our new brake spider on it. Got her welded up here. I think my welds could be a little better, but it's blowing real hard. Our S-cam is loose in the bore. We're centered. We're good to go. Little afternoon. We're on a third job today. We're over here at the TA and Wildwood. Got the truck backed up in the bay. Got Mr. Dwayne over here on the lathe cutting down a bushing so we can integrate our threads into the axle. Say hi, Dwayne. All your followers. <laughs> so, we'll uh, bring you back here in a minute. We'll show you. The finished product. See the chopping on these tires? It's hard to pick up in the video. But coming down through there, that's that's either from the spindle being worn or not having the correct preload on your bearing. That's something you drivers need to take a look at. If you're getting funny tire wear on one position and not the others, because the rest of these tires on this truck are in good shape, you need to have somebody check your wheel bearings and maybe get into it a little bit deeper. All right, we're at our final step. We've got our pressure checker in there. We've pressurized the axle. Now we're going around it with soapy water. Make sure that we don't have any uh, leaks, our welds are good, and that's the final step.